can hear you. from uh, we can go from what you uh, heard uh, on the video and I can clarify or go into certain certain things because it's, it's uh, I know I know a lot of what I had to say the majority of it got through before I start having technical difficulties so uh, if I could just if I could just start from what you heard and address some of those things I can get started here and then probably try to clarify uh, towards the end when people start when the technical difficulties start coming in if that's all right yeah that's fine like I said wh wh whatever you comfortable with um, <clears throat> I mean I got the gist of uh, what, what the backstory was um, you know ju just to give a, a quick synopsis of, of what was talked about and again this is up to no uh, coordination between me and Anthony. I had no idea what he was talking about when I saw the, the title to the video I, I had no clue so that there, there, there wasn't any coordination with me and Angel up on on what happened because it, it, it was independent on anything to do with me yes so I want to clarify that first um just to give a synopsis after the whole fallout between me and Black Sun, that there, there, there was there was a a, a sense of a, a, a chilling type mentality that was going on with the Deacons of Reality Channel. I I didn't understand why. Yeah. But there was um there was videos being made, posts being made. I it got to the point where I was like, hey, you know what it is, what it is. I don't understand why it's even happening. But Angel Snuff Number Seven, he also shared that same sentiment. He didn't want to have any focus on what me and Black Sun were going through. He wanted to have uh, advertising being made pushing the Angel Snuff Number Seven channel, independent of anything to do with anybody else. That it was synopsis. That's where it, it basically started messing up. At. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'll let you go. I'll let you go from there. 
Okay, that's fine. Okay. <clears throat> like I was saying before, and you've been on here uh, for a little while also, so it's not shocking. I'm not. I'm not shocked about this brother. And I want to make very clear when we talk about the deacons of realities, it's two brothers, Soul Brother eighty five and Twin Pyramid. They are the deacons of reality. They came up with the name. I like the name. And then I began to promote the name. Those brothers. They twins. <clears throat> and like I said in the in earlier, I appreciate anybody that come forth to help me deliver this message. I appreciate the brother making the small videos and helping me when we was going back and forth. Uh, unfortunately with you know for, for two years almost two years with these people uh, my channel getting flagged down and, and, and uh, people trying to destroy my reputation these brothers came out the woodworks and I mean they really defended to help me defend the, the, uh, the platform so I appreciate that uh, prior to this we're talking about one of the brothers and the brother we're talking about is Soul Brother 85. And he changed, uh, he stopped using Soul Brother 85 he went to Deacon of Reality. And he used the Soul Power uh, Avatar. That's who we're talking about tonight. And uh, I had a problem with him like two years, three years ago, I think he, I think before the demons of darkness, I call them the demons of darkness. Before that, going back and forth with that foolishness for two years, I had a back and forth with him because he sent me a cash app. I think it was it was only twenty bucks, and I don't even know what he said, but he he made a statement like, "I gave you this twenty bucks." Anyway, it, it was an insult. And you know, you just gave me the twenty bucks or whatever. I don't know exactly what went you know what the what he said or whatever. That was too long ago. But I I was pissed off. I felt insulted. You trying to tell me something or you want to try to control me or whatever with twenty damn dollars. There ain't no damn money. I send your money back to you. I don't give a damn about that. I'm not here to be bought. You donate a million, twenty dollars, whatever. You donate it for the cause. You're not donating it to try to control me, or you should tell me what I should say and what I should do. You can take your damn money. I don't give a damn. It's a million dollars, whatever I haven't spent or whatever. I'll send that stuff right back to you. He pissed me off. We got over that hump. He settled down and cooled down, or whatever, and we got over that hump, and went on to do some some nice things, or whatever. Had a nice relationship, but I always remember what somebody told me, and they said when somebody show you who they are, put your guard up, and I never forgot that. I never forgot that over twenty dollars. You think you can control me or you want to use me for your purpose or whatever because of $20? Get real. We got over that hump, so I thought. But when somebody show you who they are, keep your guard up. I let it go. And we went on to have nice communications for a long, long time, as you know. These young men been around me for years. I don't even know when they showed up. I've been on YouTube since 2007. I've seen them come. I've seen them go. Black Sign would tell you. I've been here a long time. I think I was here before Black Sign. I've been here before because I was here. I came to YouTube like November of 2007. And uh, I've been here a long time. 
I was here before Tariq Nasheed, Sanetta, Michi X, Alquan, all, all these different types of folks. Long time. And before YouTube start messing with your views, of course I don't expect my uh, 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 ideology to get what everybody else do, but I was a major player. Folks know who Angel Snow 7 was. Sonetta know all these old these folks that's been around. They know who Angel Snub Nub 7 is. Some of them pretend they don't. Even when my channels got tore down, I still kept rolling. I still they, they know who, who the hell I was. So I've seen people come and go. I've been I've been called prophet by some folks. I've been called I've been called the messenger. Even though I say that I'm not a prophet, I'm not divine, I'm not special. Some folks watch you on YouTube and they see you in their way. I don't care what I say out of my mouth. You because I don't know who I really am. You are a prophet, you are a messenger, you speak for the ancestors, oh you know all this stuff that I don't claim. I've never claimed those things. I believe this young man because I used to talk to him a lot and he told me I remind him of his father and so he began to be attracted to towards me because of that that image and people began to make you into what they want you to be not what I'm telling you I am they make you become what they feel you are in their mind which is an honor. He's not the only one. I've had other people tell me, uh, I, 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 you remind me of my father, whatever. He's not the only one through, throughout the years. Like I said, we had a nice relationship for a long, long time. And you have to be a certain kind of person to sit under my voice for hours and hours and hours. Because the words that I'm bringing to us is, 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 is sort of harsh because I'm not giving, I'm not going to give us credit that we don't earn. I don't call us full functioning men. And I know a lot of guys, I'm a man. I, I got 300 children I take care of. Yeah, whatever, blah, blah. You're not a man in my eye. You don't fit my criteria for a man. I don't care how many children you got. I don't care how many jobs you got. I don't care how many suits you got. You're not acting like a full functioning man. How many men are going to sit under a voice like that because they want to feel as though they are a man? Not in my book. We're not. We control no resources. We make no laws. We're under the rule of another man. You can't do nothing without another man's permission. What the, so what kind of man are you? Your little funky businesses that you build. Them little businesses that black folks got in this country don't mean nothing. These folks have trillion dollar businesses. What kind of money you think Facebook is making? Google is making. These utility companies, phone companies. And then you look at your little money like you're doing something. And you could do better if you united with your people, but you don't want to do that. So there are those who want to feel like they got it going on. Not here you don't. So this is the type of talking, the, the way I talk about women. I'm not saying that women are not are angels. What I'm saying is that before you talk about somebody's house, clean your own house up. That's what I'm saying. So my gender must be straightened up. Before I can talk about women and what our sisters need to be doing, these men need to be checked. And I'm saying that if you get the man together, these women will fall in place because they're looking for your leadership. They're looking for a man. They don't have a man. They don't. They have sperm donors and daddies Baby, baby daddies. They don't have a man. They don't have fathers. Who's going to sit under that? Because you want to feel.
feel. I'm a man. I'm doing it. I'm not like them. It don't make any difference if you're not like them. When they stereotype us as a people, I don't care if you're not like them, they put us all in this one category. And that's how it is with, I don't care how good of a father you think you are, breadwinner you think you are, it don't make any difference. They all put us in the same category. You need to straighten up the men. Because I guarantee you, straighten up this man, sister's going to fall because they waiting on you. But you all discombobulated. Over here, over there, you're not no damn leader. You don't even know what the hell you're going. You have no vision. You have no purpose. You have no goal. Everybody all over the place. What? Who, who the hell going to follow leadership like that? You can't go to GMC. You can't go to Toyota and go to those factories. And everybody doing whatever the hell they feel like that. Everybody's on the assembly line. Everybody got their job to do. And everybody had one goal, one purpose, pushing out that automobile. Following one corporate leader. Not us. Everybody do. I'm doing my own thing. And that's what you see. A confused, messed up. How are people going to follow confusion? That's one of the things the Muslims talk about in the Quran. Allah is not the author of confusion. We confuse as hell. We can't even come up with an identity. I'm an Afro descendant. I'm a I'm a Muslim. I'm a, what the hell? Know, who gonna follow that? Y'all confuse as hell. So the slave master come and put y'all in order whether you like it or not. You are African American or Black American. That's it. On your passport, black American, African American, ain't none of this Hebrew, it's like I'm a Moor and all this other nonsense. This is what you are, confused ass. So this man is listening to this kind of talk you know, all these hours. I'm shocked he's not gone a long time ago. Because folks cannot handle that. They want, want to be somewhere where somebody coddling them Everything the white man fought and blah blah blah. You 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 know the narrative. We know the narrative. I don't do that. I've been under that narrative for over forty, almost fifty, over fifty years. I've been hearing that st same crap for over fifty years. And these younger people get it. They like they saying something new. I've been hearing that stuff since I was a little boy. I'm going on sixty one years old. And ain't nothing changed. And you got it. It didn't change during my lifetime. What make you think it's going to do for, for you? I was hearing it when I was a little boy. And now here you are a grown ass man. 30, 40 some years old. It ain't doing a damn thing for you either. We got to do something different. Got to think different. Got to move different. So this young man is under this voice. But like I said in our talk, it don't make any difference. Because people are delusional. They start seeing things in their own way. See, he likes Angel Snuffin' Up 7 because Angel Snuffin' Up 7, come out here. I'm not out here to beef with people. I'm not out here to cause trouble with folks. But I'm going to defend this ministry. I'm going to defend myself. And what I see in him, he likes the beef. During that two-year period or whatever, going back and forth, blah, he enjoyed that. He relished that. Get, get his creative juices together. Let me make these videos. Now, as soon as that stopped, I asked the young man, could you make make reels of our message for YouTube? I mean, not well, YouTube do reels too. For Facebook and Instagram, you know, minute, do some reels. Make some short videos, like 10, 15 minute videos, so I can push those. Because some people don't have long, you know, they have short attention span. So 
make some short videos, we can promote them. He made no attempt because they're not beef video. Made no attempt. Made no attempt to do that. But as soon as he got an opportunity to make a beef video, when Black Sun and the MD20 had a falling out, when Black Sun said, you're fired. <laughs> you're fired, my friend. And then the black then the MD20 said, Damn, I got fired on my day off? What's up? When that kicked off, his creative juices got going. Let's make the beef video. The wasp versus the honeybee. And then I put it together in a little compilation with some of the other the old stuff that we had. And he liked that. But it wasn't good enough. I want to put that in HD 20, 1080, whatever you want to call it. Y'all know I don't trip off stuff because my work get flagged. It don't make no difference how beautiful it is, how technical it is. It gets flagged regardless. I don't care. I don't care how poorly made it is, my stuff get flagged and destroyed. So I don't trip off trying to uh, get it HD 1080 or all this. I don't understand. This. I don't trip off of it. But he did. That wasn't good enough. I want to put this in 1080, 1080 HD. The bees versus the wasps and stuff like that. He's getting off on that. But that don't have nothing to do with me. I don't have nothing to do with that that whatever between between these men, which I think, if given the opportunity, I think they can quash that. I think so because from the history, from what I know of Black Sun, he don't really hang on to stuff grudges like that for a long time. You can talk to him, and I felt bad about it because I think that the Black Sun, the MD20 collaboration, I think that it was a wonderful thing. I think that y'all make magic together. As far as I'm concerned, I think you make a good team. Just iron your little your differences out. Whatever made somebody upset or they don't agree with, talk about it, squash it, and keep rolling. You're stronger together than separate. We trip. See, it goes back to what I always be saying on my channel. We're not full functioning men. How the hell are we going to build a nation? How the hell are you going to move a people being so petty and pathetic the way we act and the way we behave? You can't. What kind of leader are you? The first thing that happened, you cry. I'm not saying that we should not have feelings. I'm not saying that we shouldn't get upset, but damn, we hold grudges. Some of these folks will have grudges next 10 years. You remember what MD20 said about me? 20 years ago, what did he say? He said, I shouldn't have been eating them peanuts. What? I shouldn't have been eating them. I can eat all the peanuts I want. That's what the grudge is. Because he told you you shouldn't be eating peanuts 20 years ago. That's how petty we are. Because we're not full functioning men. We keep talking about women. And these men are more emotional than many women I know of. Because I know a lot of women... If they went through these things, they wouldn't be tripping off this stuff. But we do. Holding on to this stuff forever. All those children I was dealing with, going back and forth, for almost two years. And these people claim to be adults. You ain't no damn, how are we going to be adults doing this stuff back and forth? And you ought to see all the views. Hundreds of views. Hundreds of views. Can't even put the video up good. There they are. Sick looking for. Looking. Because we feed off a slop. Soon as that was over. The views went down. We're pigs. At the, at the trough. That's how we act. That's what we do. But I'm a god. I'm a warrior. Respect me. No, you're a child. That's what children do. 
That's how children behave. That's why I always keep saying. That's why I keep talking. We're not full functioning men. We're not full functioning women. We continue to act like slaves. We continue to act like children. And the only thing you do is verify what I say. Because that's all what this young man has done. He has verified what I say all the time. In fact, in fact, I just said on a video, like two days ago, whatever the video, I, I just made a couple of videos talking about our mental health. I was talking about our mental health. I was talking about how emotional we get and when we become emotional the real us come out and see he got emotional which I already knew he had that potential I already knew it was there but when he when this made him so angry the real him come out can you imagine if we was in the Mississippi campaign and we was doing good and people like this is in your circle it ain't the white man. It's not the white man. It's us. And then he's able to get in this circle. And what if and he's there to destroy because I'm angry and I'm upset. What is the purpose? Okay, so so I know in my original video, I kept saying, what did he do? Well, what did he do? <laughs> I gave him access to the Deacons of Reality channel. My channel. Not his channel. I gave him the password for a channel, YouTube channel, I made. It's easy for y'all to make a channel and put up video. You can do it on your own. It's free. And for years, I always asked the people that listen to me, could you make a YouTube channel and you can put my videos on them? They don't do it. I had to do it. I made the channel, gave him the password. He didn't take it upon himself to make his own channel and put the videos on. You're going you're, you're gonna to go on my channel and I give him the password. And the reason why I've done that, gave him the password so he can have, have access, so he can put the videos up whenever he felt like. But it's my channel, my password, my email. So this is what he do, because I know that's what they want to know. Well, what did he do? Well, this is what he done. He made these beef videos, which I don't approve of, because that don't have nothing to do with me. And I'm not, I'm not here to fan the flame. That's not what I'm about. I would hope that the brothers can work it out. I'm not into that, fanning the flame, choosing one over the other. I'm not into that. I have no concern with me. But he sided with Black Sun. I'm going to help Black Sun against this other man, uh, the MD-20. Of which we saw that. So like I said, I had put a compilation together with some of our old stuff. And he wanted to do an HD, which he did. So while he was at it, he said, he asked me, well, he didn't ask me, he told, he told me, I'm going to make a promotional video. Now, if I'm going to do something for somebody, especially if it's going to take a lot of time, because I know MD20, you into the new software, and you do the videos, and if you did the videos and all the animation and all the stuff that you got to do, it takes a long time. Because I know... When I make a minute, a minute video, it takes me almost two hours to do a minute video when you editing and splicing and trying to put that together. Take me two or three hours to do one minute. So if you're going to take it upon yourself 
to make a a promotion of video because that's what it's supposed to be a promotion of video he told me I'm gonna make this 30 minute 20 30 minute video for the channel which is fine a promotion of video but when he put it together this is the problem that I had with it I didn't really see no promotion of Angel Snuppin' Up 7 Reality's Temple on Earth I did not see that I saw he put the beef video between Black Sam and the MD20 and the cussing and the profanity they were saying back for you know I don't do that here I don't, I don't do that. And why would I put that in my promotional video? And then he put Talib in the video. For those of you who may not know, Talib decided that he didn't want to participate in the Reality's Temple platform no more because I told him many, many times. I told him many, many times, going way back to 2021. If you want to have a solo spot on my channel, you got to promote. You got to help build the channel. If you cannot do that, you can't bring your happy ass on my channel and run your mouth. And you know when he does that, I have to be there for two, three hours that he's talking. He's not going to talk for an hour and let it go. He's going to talk two, three hours or whatever. There was a time when Talib talked for five hours straight. I let him talk for five hours straight. I just wanted to see how long he was gonna, what he, how long if how, if he was gonna do this. He talked for five hours. I'm like, damn. Now, mind you, he's not promoting the channel at all. He's not inviting no guests at all. He's not giving me no money. For, for to pay to, for internet or nothing. Everything is free. Including my time. And I'm on here. As long as he running his mouth talking. Which I don't mind now and then. But you want to come regular. You want to talk as much as I do. It's only fair. If you're on my channel. Because I know I would do it. You need to pay. Help pay the internet bill. You need to pay on to be here. You need to bring guests here. You ain't doing nothing here. And then he wants the telephone number of people I talk to, and he calls them and talk them, talk to them to death. We have a lot of lonely people on the internet. That's why I had to make up the rule. And I tell, especially men. I talk to you 30, 45 minutes at the max, and I'm done. I don't talk to men like that. Some of these people will call you in their lonely world. They just want to, they, they're running, they just talk and talk. Talk about everything except the Mississippi campaign. Talk about everything except what we can do to promote this and get this to going. Never talk about that. My daddy did this when I was eight years old. That's nice. What are we going to do to promote and get this message out? They don't want to talk about that. Never. I've had brothers like that. You're not my girlfriend. I'm not, I don't want to talk to no man for no damn 30 hours and hours. I ain't talking to no man like that. You, these guys want to be on the phone and talk to you for hours and hours and hours. I don't do that. They get angry too. They go on and on and on and on. Everything except the Mississippi campaign. Everything except how we going to promote. What guests are you bringing? But you want to run your mouth on my channel. Talking to the people that I bring. To my audience. Not only the people that's regular. That know about the channel. I'm always on Facebook messing with folks. Trying to get guests and blah, blah, blah. And talking to people. Always. Today. Every day. Of course. The majority of them are scared. They don't want to come and deal with that. Because they know what. 
They know what they was facing on Facebook or Instagram, wherever we talked at. They don't want to come and de deal with me in person. They don't want to do that. You see what happened to the ones <laughs> that do. One brother almost broke down crying. <laughs> now, if I'm hey, wrong... Hey, real quick. Yeah. Real, real, real quick, I'm just um, yeah. I'm going to let you go for, for like another five minutes or so. Okay. And then... um. I, you know, I, I just want to ask a couple of questions just to get some uh, specificity on exactly what's going on. But, but continue. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead. And I can, I can conc uh, conclude in five minutes. So, I know I'm not in error. I know I'm not in error. When I decided, no, sir, you cannot have no, you can no longer have solo spots on my channel. You bring no guests. You bring no guests. You ain't paying for nothing. You don't promote nothing. No. When I was in the Nation of Islam and asked, could I speak on the roster? Because I earned it. I was on the streets every day selling newspapers, bean pies. I was always pushing the program every day. I had the right to ask, can I speak from this platform? Hell, because build, I'm building it. I'm supporting it. And of course, I was giving in charity too. But to make a long story short in conclusion, you're going to make a video or whatever you think that you're going to do for somebody. And you're going to put a lot of time and effort in it. You need to ask them. Is this all right? I'm going to do it like this. Is this all right? His video, supposed to be a promotional video, had the beef, the beefing between Black Sun and, and the MD20. That's not, that, that's, what they got to do with Angel Snub Number 7? How do they promote Angel Snub Number 7? You got to live in my video. Talib is not here no more. He don't want to be here. So why am I promoting Talib? I don't want him in my promotion of video. And then y'all know I like Terry. He put he put Terry Ellis videos in my promotion of video. A whole lot of Terry Ellis. This is the reality's tip on earth. This is not the Invo or the Terry Ellis show. And for those of you who have watched my promotional videos, you see that I've taken a lot of info out of my promotional video. I used to advertise their albums and all that kind of stuff. I took a lot of that out. I stopped doing that. Ain't nobody no damn fanatic. You must think I'm a fanatic. I'm supposed to. This is reality's tip on earth. This is not info. This is not free your mind concert. I put a little my Terry in there. That's it. A little taste and, and keep rolling. So I saw his video and I told him I can't use this. And that's when the anger come out. And he's such a bitch. Couldn't come to me and talk to me about it. You had he had access to the channel. Well, since you don't like it, I'm going to take all of it down. A little punk, a little sissy. You ain't serious what I'm talking about. You're not even mad enough. Hiding behind the avatar. We don't even know if that's you for real. I believe that it is. Not even mad enough to tell somebody that you upset or whatever. Then you're going to turn around how women are more emotional over this video. I know that it took a long time for you to do that, but you should have took it upon yourself to ask somebody. When I was in the nation of Islam, I used to write poems and I used to make flyers for the nation to promote our temple. I took it to the officials. 
What you think about this? They'll say yes or no. Even Sister Noah, when I made a, a promotional video for her. I had to go to her. Is this all right? What you think? You're going to go all out your way, spend all this time, made no attempt to ask me, is this all right? This is how I'm going to do it. That's on you. You don't get angry at me for something you did. Because I ain't. I, we haven't done nothing to this man. So can you imagine this person in your circle if you really was doing something with the Mississippi campaign or really out here doing something? They'll stab you in the back. Which I wouldn't have him like that anyway because he already shown me that he's not to be trusted. Something is wrong. And now it's all come out in the wash. And I wasn't going to say nothing about this at first. But he became a fixture on his channel. And I also think that people need to know. And there's a lesson to be learned. When somebody show you who they are the first time. You better be worried. You better keep, keep guard. And eventually. They expose themselves. They can't help it. And this wasn't nothing. You just made a video that I didn't like. This wasn't nothing. Good riddance to bad rubbish. Brother MD, come on, take it away. All right, so like I said, a couple, a couple of questions I want to I deal with first. Okay. Just to be clear, yeah. right? Soul Brother 85 as well as Twin Pyramid are brothers, correct? Yes. I mean, as, as far as I can tell, there is no issue with, with you and Twin Pyramid. Uh, where, where was the back channel discussion between the three of you in regards to what was going on? Or did Twin Pyramid have any access to the channel? To my knowledge, Twin Pyramid had nothing to do with the channel. To my knowledge, I don't... He never posted any videos. If he if he did, he did it through Soul Brother 85. If he did anything. Okay. Um, what, what, was, what was the revelation with, with, with you uh, realizing that these certain types of videos are, are, are something that, that you don't want to be bothered with? Because, I mean... We, we can go back throughout the history of the channel, the, the Deacons of Discovery channel, and see many videos in regarding beefs, if you will, for a, it's a long history of it, with, with, with many different people. Yeah, that's what so the... when did you come to... Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, when did you come to the realization that, like, that wasn't the move? The channel, that's what the channel is. The channel, the, the Dick is a Reality channel, it was born during the, the beefing. That's what it was born from. And. I understand, I understand. Right, that's, 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 where, that's, where, that's where, yeah, that's where it come from. But like I said, after that was all over, I really was done. I didn't want no more of that. We, we entered the thing called the healing. That's what I was promoting. The healing. Of course, in our situation, you can try to be that way, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to stay that way. Somebody going to break your peace. So, that channel is always open. Folks want to get down, then I have no choice. Then we'll get down with you. But in this particular situation, I didn't have nothing to do with that between yourself and Mr. Black Sign. I don't have nothing to do with that. I didn't even know it had, it had happened. I'm like, what, what happened? Just like you probably looked at my video and I and saw Twin Pyramid, I mean not Twin Pyramid, but Soul Brother, you're like, what, what's going on with that? I didn't know what was going on between... Y'all, you, 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 
was in the chat. And you was in the chat during the video that he, that he initially did. You were in the chat. I was in the chat. I, in, 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 in fact, I'm paraphrasing, but, but a couple of things that you said was that I had no voice without Black Sun Channel. You also said I had no integrity. Exactly. Exactly. I, and I, I, can, I, I, I admit that. I admit that. I admit that. But see, that was the... I didn't know that was going on. I just woke up one day and Black Sun was almost through with his speech like halfway through and I'm like, what, what's going on here? And I came in on him. And because of what you done or attempted to do, I gave my two cents on it. I said, damn, he did the same type of thing to me. And you did. That's not enough. That's old and news. So, so, so you equated that comment to something that I did to you? Yeah, when you said I'm going to initiate a coup and take over the Mississippi campaign. You started that. I, I did, I did. And everybody knows the story behind that. Exactly. In, reg in, in regards to that, how, how that initially happened. Exactly. But again, that that didn't take away from the premise of what I wanted to do in terms of the Mississippi campaign. Now, you know, respectfully, because it, you know, this ain't got nothing to do with the content in which you create. But, again, what was said was that I had no integrity and that I... I, I didn't have a voice without Black Sun. I mean, you know, I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out, does that hold true? In terms of all the interactions that we had. Well, the reality is, if it wasn't for Black Sun's channel, you wouldn't have had no voice to say nothing about me. You wouldn't have gone say nothing about me. You used that channel to get at me. That's what you did. Just you like, mind, just like poor chop, just like poor chop used Noble to get at me because she don't have no channel. She don't have no voice. Where is she now? What, 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 what I'm asking you is, behind what base do I need to get at you with? That's what you what, did. What, what did what? You use what, uh, trait. You use Black Sun channel. Is what I'm saying. You use Black Sun channel to get at me. If you was on your channel, who going who is gonna really be hearing you like that? Myself. I, ain't, ain't that one of your strong points? I mean, you always say if it's only one person. Yeah, but no, it wouldn't even you wouldn't even got that big. It wouldn't even got that big. So it wouldn't even got that big. Nobody would even notice. Basically what you're saying is you just you just negated pretty much everything that you just said. From from a value standpoint, because now you're using that same thing against me. Now you want to play victim. You know what you've done. I, I'm I'm no victim. I ain't no victim at all. No, I said yeah. I know you're not no victim. Everything everything I said, I, I take. I know you're not no victim. I have no choice. I know you're not no victim because you're done what you're done. You use that man's channel to get at me. And, and then you're going to take my, you, then you're going to try to talk about, I'm going to take a coup, a coup, and I'm going to take over. And then it even got to the point where you talk about how come cancer didn't kill you yet or some crap you, you wrote. Hey, who, who started the personal attack? I ain't starting no per started per I personal attack. Yeah, yeah. You came after my vision. Talk about, talk about I'm going to take over a coup over the Mississippi campaign. You started that. You take that as a personal attack? Hell yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah! Angel, again. That, that you don't have nothing to do with the Mississippi campaign. You ain't spent that, no dime. You ain't spent no time. You ain't did nothing for the Mississippi campaign. How the hell you gonna turn, turn around to about I'm this is a coup and Miss Exodus Mississippi South and all that nonsense? What what happened again, to matter of fact? What happened to Mississippi? My, my initial, what happened to the Mississippi campaign South? 
My initial intent was to grow it, but when I saw you, that, how the hell you gonna grow it? How you the hell you gonna grow something that you don't have yeah, nothing to yeah, do I'm with? I'm saying it's a coup. Because how the hell you gonna grow something? Any work. How the hell you gonna grow something and you don't have nothing to do with? You don't want a damn thing. Just like Black Sun don't want to do a damn thing. So yes, I'll take it over. You ain't gonna take nothing. Not here, you're not. Not here, you're not. Well, I didn't build on it, so I don't have to. You ain't gonna build nothing here. Neither are you. You ain't did it for three years. So what I'm telling you is this. Because the people don't want it. You don't want it. You can't build it the way I want to do it. You want to try to take it and think that you smarter and you better than somebody. You ain't better than smart. Do it the way it's supposed to be done. I'm going to ask you the last question. Who are you? What you mean, who am I? To To whom in which I'm speaking with right now. You gonna turn around and tell that man because you disagree with whatever he done or whatever. You gonna turn around and tell that man. Warning. Warning. Nigga babble detected. System overload. We go. Warning. Warning. Nigga babble detected. System overload. We go. Fuck out of here, man. You a Listen, chump. We have to stop. You a chump. We're trying to personalize situations in the fact that you a chump. We try to utilize our own opinions and place them on everybody else. We got to stop doing that, folks. That's you see what that clown did. Going to try to play victim. Gonna try to set me up and fail. Another clown. I expected it. I expected it. This clown. Another person, another person. He was on my panel. And when I talked about you're not a full functioning man, he want to say different, but didn't want to challenge me. That's the only thing they can do is run. This piece of trash going to write and tell me that why hasn't cancer killed you yet? This man going to sit and tell Black Sun you should go somewhere and kill yourself. And I'm supposed to say that all right. That all right. These clowns. I told you we're not dealing with men. Now he wants to he wants to play victim. Yeah, I take it personally. You try to steal my idea. Yeah, Black Son should tell, take it personally. You gonna tell him he needs to go commit suicide. You gonna tell me I should be dead from cancer. These pieces of trash. I didn't have nothing to do with that fallout. But again, it goes back. When a person show you who they are, And see, this fool is so into himself, he can't even hide it. He can't even pretend. Because that's just who he is. He showed us who he was. He showed us who he is. Now, he talks all this reparation stuff. And he was telling us he's in communication with these people about reparation. Ain't brought nobody to his channel. Don't even talk about no reparations. All this Freedman stuff. Tell you what you should be doing. I'm gonna help you. How you gonna help me when you ain't you ain't part of this? 
You ain't built nothing. You ain't done nothing. Do it your way. He ain't did nothing for himself. Can't do nothing with me. That's the only thing they can do is run. Because you're wrong. Even Soul Brother 85 would tell you, you told that man he should die from cancer. You're wrong. You're going to tell Black Son he needs to commit suicide. You're going to try to take over our campaign, our vision. And try to make it yours. I didn't ask you for your help. Why don't you help. Do it the way it's supposed to be done. And then. You can give advice. Because you earned it. You ain't earned nothing here. You don't come out of nowhere. I think that. You, that's not the problem. The problem is. People don't want to do anything. Including your ass. You don't want to do nothing. We're not dealing with men. I told you we're not dealing with men. These weak ass folks. Losers. And here you are, Soul Brother 85. You're going to turn in, into exactly what you used to talk about. Loser. You used to push that more than I did. Loserville. Losers. And here you are no better than those you talk about. You're going to kick me off. See how cowardly these people are? You gonna kick me off. But I let you come to my platform. I let him come to my platform and say whatever the hell he wanted to say. And quiet. I didn't run. I didn't kick you off. <laughs> you didn't say nothing. Except reality, my friend. It's much easier. But I'm going to tell you what Angel Snub Nub 7 is going to do. I'm going to continue, whether you, whether they help me or not, I'm going to continue to bring this message that I call real truth to the masses. It might not be for us. It might be for a future generation. We're going to talk about that in a small video later on. These lazy, cowardly, I think I know it all, these clowns. You doing the same thing to me like it, whatever. I was on the video expressing what you done to me. Because you done the same damn thing to me, what you done to him. I should die from cancer. You using him. Your happy ass didn't give that man not one dime. And you using all, using all the stream yard features. You ain't giving him nothing. You're not bringing him no guests. You're not doing a damn thing. You're just enjoying everything. You use that man's channel to do your dirt. And Black Sun even knows that. But he said, I got caught up in the stuff. In childish behavior. I got caught up in all that. How the hell are you going to talk about a coup over something that has nothing to do with you? You ain't part of this. Yeah, I took it personal. You're supposed to take it personal. You're going to try to steal our vision, our ideas. You're going to tell me why cancer ain't killed me. You're going to tell that man he should die, go somewhere and kill himself. Oh, but that, that's not personal. That's 
Judas. Hypocrites. Soul Brother 85 is a hypocrite. See, this is what they charged Malcolm with being a hypocrite. No, this is hypocrisy. This is traitor. This is Judas behavior. And the sad thing, it ain't about nothing, people. These old weak feminine men. Mm. Oh, wow. How pitiful and pathetic. Losers. Except reality, my friend, is much easier. Continue to subscribe if you want to. And see, the sad thing about it is everybody that leaves, somebody sooner or later take your place. It don't make no difference. People want to hear Angel Snuff Up 7. They want to hear an alternative. The reason why I'm here because the people, somebody want me here. So your crying baby ass, it don't make no difference how you cry. This phony don't think he done anything wrong. He don't think he said nothing wrong. You can tell people you need to die from cancer. You can try to steal people. Ain't nothing wrong with that, y'all. Ain't nothing wrong with people stealing your ideas, your creativity. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Uh, telling you that you need to die from cancer, uh, telling you you should go commit suicide, your fat ass, just like Black Sun said, you can't even, you want to take over the Mississippi campaign and you can't even handle your business. Probably got caught up in that trucking scheme. Those trucking companies rip off these brothers and other people make you feel like you're going to own a truck. You got to work your ass off. It'll take you years and years and years to pay off that truck. He probably got caught up in that scam. Because the trucking companies know you want to feel like a businessman. Yeah, you, you get in the business all right. Now you got to pay for your stuff yourself. You can't, you can't leech off Black Sign no more. When these folks get angry and upset, the real them start coming out. Except reality, my friend, is much easier. On that note, we are out of here. I'm Angel Snuffin' Up 7. As our ancestor, our brother, Don Cornelius, used to always say as in parting, I wish us love, peace, and soul. And we are Audi 5000.